Hi guys, Adam here from Dice Information Supplies and even though it's October, Christmas is in the air here. As we know, you're getting geared up for Christmas and so are we. So um, as you saw last week, I did the Santa sack for you guys in a tutorial. And this week um, and for the next couple of weeks, we're going to do some tutorials and some different gift ideas um, that we've come up with here at Dice Sub Supplies. So today um, I'm going to do metal tins. Um, great for keep putting gifts in and um, we've had some discussion of putting t-shirts in them and we've had people talking about putting like um baby stuff in them and our dawn's thinking about putting together a little pack with baby bibs and stuff like that so and she will show you how to do those in the coming weeks um but for today we're just going to sublimate the tin so what you'll need is a tin the insert that sits on top now these come with a protective plastic film. I've half peeled this one off because I didn't really want to be picking at the edge while I'm doing the video. Um, you literally peel those off before you sublimate them. Now they will sublimate with it on. However, what you'll find is you get a really sticky mess in your press. So believe me, I've learned that the hard way. It's not worth it. Um, and you'll need an image. So today we're going to go for um, Dawn's idea, which was baby's first Christmas. And this one's for a little girl that we know here called Scarlett. So um, yeah. Take your blank, peel the protective film off. Now, because this is obviously a metal blank, um, lining the image up can be a bit diff difficult. So what I tend to do is apply the tape first. Obviously you apply the tape to the back of the image so that the sticky side is facing forward. Probably that should do. And then I tend to lay the blank down on the desk. Now, because you can see through the paper slightly, probably not in the video, but when you stood above them, you can see through the paper. Um, it just makes it that little bit easier to line stuff up. Now, try and keep it off the tape until you're sure it's nearly in the middle. Yeah, and it always helps. You can just run your fingers through it and feel for the thing. Then, just run your finger around the edge, and that will adhere to the paper. Oh, I've missed a little bit there, hang on. It is a little bit tricky, but you'll get the hang of it. you do get the hang of it eventually. But no matter how many times you do these, you always get the odd one that doesn't line up. So, there is the taped thing. Now, to do this, you want to set your press at 190 degrees, and they press for 50 seconds, so they're really quick, really easy to do. Um, lay the blank down on the press i've got a teflon sheet underneath it um with this kind of product because you're not doing a large image it's not overlapping you don't really get a lot of ink transfer but it's good practice to just to protect your press and i'm going to pop another one on top like so and then you just close your press and that'll count down for 50 seconds so that's the press letting us know it's finished um just open the platen get a heat glove because with it being metal it really holds the heat and we'll take the teflon off and we then just remove the image from the paper. Take the tape off, which is sometimes easier said than done. And there you have it. The blank has been sublimated with the image. Now to affix it to the tin, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wave that about a little bit just to cool it off before I stick it to the glue. It only takes a couple of seconds. There we go, you can hold it now. So. The tin itself has a paper, like a release paper on the top. You just want to, there's a little tab, just carefully, because if you tear the tab off, it becomes a bit of a pain, but peel it off. And what you're left with is an adhesive surface on the top of the tin. Now, you've got to kind of be careful when you're lining this up, because you really do want to get one go at this, because that adhesive is really strong. So what I like to do is take an edge, and fit it into the bevel on the top of the tin and, and keep it firm against that bevel as you work around and I tend to kind of roll the it on like that okay make sure it's stuck down and that will not come off there you have it there's your gift tin so going forward Don's going to show you what we can put in these um, if you have any questions or any other things that you'd like us to see do in a Christmas style, um, get them in the comment section below. You can contact us on all our social media platforms. So we've got Facebook and Twitter, which uh, you'll see links below as well. And remember to subscribe for future video tutorials and the Q&As. All right, guys. Um, thanks for listening and happy sublimating.